everything he did. So he made fingerprints, dirt, dirt, dirt. He left messy fingerprints. Oh yes, Mr. Messy was messy by name and messy by nature. Mr. Messy lived in a messy looking house. The paint was peeling. The windows were broken. There were tiles missing from the roof. The flower beds were overgrown with weeds. The garden gate was off its hinges. And had Mr. Messy cut the grass in his yard lately? No, he had not. <clears throat> One morning, Mr. Messy woke up in his messy bed, yawned, scratched, got up, brushed his teeth, leaving the top off the toothpaste. Oh. <clears throat> At least he brushed his teeth. Had his breakfast spilling cornflakes all over the floor. And then... Done? <laughs> Are we done? <laughs> there was a forest behind his house. And he went for a walk, and he took a long time to walk through it. But he, are you just rubbing spit all over your face now? And he, yeah. That's, he, he's emulating Mr. Messy. Yeah, he's like Mr. Messy. And do you know what he found on the other side of the forest? A beautiful, neat house. The neatest, prettiest looking little cottage that he had ever seen. It had a lovely yard with a stream running through. There was a man in the yard clipping the hedge. Good morning, Mr. Messy, said Mr. Messy. I can see that, replied the man, looking up and, and down. I am Mr. Tidy, and I am Mr. Neat, said the other man, appearing out of the house. Tidy and neat, said Mr. Tidy. Neat and tidy, said Mr. Neat. There they are. They are so clean. <clears throat> Mr. Neat and Mr. Tidy. We're in business together, and the people who who own this house, you got to finish this book. Okay, no more books.